Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is James and I'm continuing on with my build of this RPM Barnstormer 25S um, RC plane kit. So as you can see, the wing is close to being finished, but I do have a few more steps. Um, one of them is I need to infill the sheeting areas where it comes into contact with these spars. So on both sides of this, I have a low spot in the sheeting and I wanna go ahead and fill those in. Okay, so let's talk about filling in these two areas. So I'm gonna use um, micro balloons filler. And what you do is you use micro balloons with a finishing resin, like epoxy. I'm gonna be using this Zap um, called Zepoxy. This is just the finishing resin. This is not like your true adhesive uh, epoxy. You wouldn't use this for a, you know for structural bonding and for strength. This is for finishing. So now I'll talk about this process here in a, in a minute or so. But I could do it otherwise, other ways. I mean, I mean, I could fill this in with just your standard wood putty, right? I can use wood putty. Um, thinking, is there anything else I could use? But it doesn't have to be these micro balloons. But I want to use this just because I'd like to go ahead and demonstrate the use of of these, and um, they're pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about micro balloons as they're used in the RC hobby. Now, micro balloons have a lot of applications. They were not designed or invented by hobbyists in the RC hobby world. Um, they have a lot of uses for, you know, anything from industrial use all the way to the other types of crafts and things like that. So micro balloons are just basically microscopic, uh, I guess they're glass beads. They're, and they're very, very small. That's like a powder. And I'll show that in just a few minutes. And they're, it's used as, the, as a filler. And you, in the RC world, it's, they're generally used with um, finishing resins, like this is a resin epoxy. Um, and you use the micro balloons to just basically make that resin epoxy very thick to the point to where you can actually shape it and it actually holds its shape. So kind of think of it as like, in the RC world, think of it as like Bondo is to like car kind of, you know, car repair and things like that. It's sort of like the Bondo of RC plane, of the RC plane world. So um, why would you want to do this? So if you're, if you're not familiar with it, if, if you're building, you know, scale kits, um, where you have sort of compound curves and odd shapes and you're trying to maybe meet, make surfaces meet smoothly and there's, and there's curvature and stuff, you use these uh, micro balloons with the resins to kind of build up those areas so that you can go back and sand them. So in a plane like this, it, that's not typically wouldn't be using it. I'm going to use it here just to fill in these areas, like I said. But I'll show you an example of, um, of kind of how it's supposed to, not supposed to be, but how, how it's typically used. Okay, if you've been watching my channel and you've seen my earlier videos, I did, where I built this, um, I'm not going to get into this plane because I spent a lot of time yakking about it before, but this is just this chipmunk model that I built. And in those videos, which are basically more, they're just mostly narrative, they're basically kind of slideshows um, with narration, they're probably pretty boring, so I apologize about that. But I did talk a little bit about using micro balloons. So in this case right here, Micro balloons were used to sort of make this wing root. You know, this is called like the wing fillet, or I guess that's the right term to use. But basically, micro balloons was used, and there was a process for doing it on this kit, and I won't get into that. But it's basically, as you can see here, I made this kind of compound curve um, with the micro balloons, and I came back and I shaped it. So like right here, you can kind of see this. So this whole thing that you're seeing here, it goes down and then it comes, you know, kind of up in up here then all the way to the front of the airplane Ooh, kind of trying to get that in there hopefully you can see it that's all micro balloons and in fact below here below the um kind of where the where the wing meets the fuselage i'm um, having trouble getting this on my camera this is all micro balloons right here okay um so as i mentioned before the micro balloons are not unique or weren't invented um, in the rc plane industry or rc plane world they have a lot of applications and they're used for all kinds of stuff. So that being said is you can get micro balloons from a lot of resources. You can get them online from, of course, your, your hobby retailers. Like these, again, these are from Top Flight. And I think I probably ordered these off of Amazon or Tower Hobbies or something like that. SIG, which is an RC um, plane um, company, they sell their brand of micro balloons. And so you'll see a lot of hobby, hobby retailers uh, selling micro balloons. 
But you can also get them, you know, if you want to, you can also get them um, on Amazon or eBay or anywhere else in different quantities because, like I said, they're used for a variety of purposes. I saw some on Amazon the other day that were like a five-gallon bucket for like $9 or something like that. So you can get them, you, you, pretty much you can get them anywhere. Now you certainly want to make sure that you don't inhale these things. And I'm going to be very careful, but you can kind of see the picture here. It's very, very fine powder. I mean, that's super, super fine powder. Okay, so, so usually when I'm doing this, I, I use a little bit of, a, of the resin, the epoxy resin, very small amount, and then I add the micro balloons to that. Um, you can very easily, if you use too much resin, in your mix, you can very easily end up with a whole bunch of of your micro balloons mix that you're not going to use. So I recommend doing a little bit and kind of working up from there. Now I don't know, I'll have to look these up, I don't know how long it takes for this to set up, but this is just that finishing resin and I think it's, I think it may be 30 minutes, it may be 15 minutes, so we'll we'll find out. So let's go ahead and add a little bit. I already have some micro balloons in here, oops, that's not going to matter. I'm just going to put a little, little bit in here, like a, I'm going to put one more blob on here, about that much more. I'm going to mix it up here. So there's our kind of starting right there. I'm going to go ahead and thicken this up a little bit. Like I said, I probably, we'll see, but. You're going to be using a much higher amount of, or greater amount of micro balloons, higher ratio of micro balloons to the actual resin. So here you go, you can kind of see it's getting thicker. Now that's sort of like when you're doing something like that wing fillet that I showed you. I keep calling it a wing fillet, that's how they spell it. I don't know if that's, I think that's correct, but um, you want to get, you want to get, if it needs the bead sort of go vertical, which that had to do. You have to make this thick enough to where it doesn't do this. It doesn't drip. Um, that's not going to help you if it starts dripping. You want it to be thick enough to where it kind of holds its shape. Okay, so here you go. This is good right here. So you see that? That's pretty thick. I could even make it thicker than that if I wanted to. Oops, here we go. That's pretty thick. So if I was doing this to make something like a compound curve or some kind of transition between, you know, the, the, the rudder and the, the back fuselage, you kind of want to have that curving out or kind of like those nice transitions on a, on a scale plane, you would use something, you would use this to, to get that to happen and you go back and sand it. And it's really nice when it dries up, when it cures up, it's very, um, it's, it's like sanding wood. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll start with this one. I'm just going to use my, my, my uh, um, stick here and I'm just going to put this on here. It's not like, as I mentioned, it's not like your typical epoxy. If you're doing this with a typical epoxy, it would be very difficult to sand it off when it cured up. In this case, it's going to be very easy. So we don't have to worry about putting too much on other than the fact that you're just going to give yourself a little bit more work. So you can kind of see that one right there, hopefully. Am I on the camera? Yeah, like right here. And it just fills in nicely. I mean, it's really fun stuff to use. It doesn't shrink. All right, so we did the top and top and the bottom of this, and it looks like it filled nicely. These 
two areas. So when this cures up, I'm gonna let it cure overnight and then I can come back and sand it and make it nice and smooth. And that's gonna be awesome. So, um, you know, so this is kind of me doing this. If you look at other resources, I'm sure if you're watching my channel, you're probably watching other channels, so that's cool. And probably there's other methods how to do this, that's fine. So I think I'm gonna put a little bit more. I'm gonna put some on this leading edge where the sheeting, oops, where the sheeting meets the leading edge. I have a little bit of a gap there. And I'm gonna fill in a little couple of little spots. What's cool about this wing is it's got such a big dihedral, you can set it up on an edge like this. So one way of looking at micro balloons is like this is a nice way to to tell you, show you that you're not perfect when you do your wing shaping and sheeting and everything else. And you've got to fill, fill in little spots and stuff. My little mistake I made. And again, if you're seeing these, watching these channels, this I, I mistakenly put the. Um, I put the servo opening for the ailerons on the top of the wing and not the bottom of the wing. So if you haven't seen sort of those videos or those fixes, if you're looking at some of the earlier videos of the sheeting and stuff, you'll notice that the that the um, that I have the this hole on the wrong side it has to be you know here on the bottom. So take note of that. So this was just another little method to get to um, you know, be careful here to kind of fill in these low spots and sort of like make the finish a little bit a little bit nicer. Um, once this cures, I will do some sanding, a little bit of sanding, and then I'm gonna come back and do this fiberglass cloth using the same resin epoxies. All right, well, I let this sit overnight and the micro balloons cured up. So now the next step is, let me grab my sanding, and you kind of watch how easy it is to sand this stuff. Okay, so I've done um, most of the, the, the sanding on, this, on the center part of the wing. I will do it maybe a little bit more, but I am gonna come back and, and put on this, um, this fiberglass sheeting. Um, and then I'll do a one last final sand sanding. But um, overall it came out, I think it came out pretty good with a micro balloon infilling. There's a little couple low spots in here, but that's okay. Um, it filled in nicely and it's also like I mentioned I think maybe before but it's nice it's very light and it's just a nice filler so hopefully if, if you haven't used micro balloons um, and you want to do some filling um, on your on your builds go ahead and look into this and it may be helpful for you <laughs>